nice to meet you here today on this week's episode on Real Gist with Moonbeam. On today's gist, son tried to pluck mother's eyes for money ritual in Delta State. Emma Eragamama invited his mother to his house at Caroline Street, Okuokoko, after persuading her that he had a surprise package for her. On getting there, according to Mrs. Oke, or Raga Mama, she said she met her son in an unusual joyous mood. After welcoming her, the boy increased the volume of the musical gadget, locked the door, and made an attempt or move to strangle her and pluck the eyes. After fighting with her son for some minutes, she added she regained strength, ran outside, and called neighbors for help. Before this incident, she said that her son had boasted he must drive GLK this week. Emma is now in the police custody. Train up a child in the way he should go, so that when he grows, he will not depart from it. Parents pay 95% attention to their female children always guiding and directing them not to bring shame to the family, believing that unwanted pregnancy is the highest shame a child can bring to the family. This way, they leave, they leave the boys behind. The father will always say, boys will always be boys. But I tell you today, most parents have been jailed because of the, the crime their son committed. Train your male child the way you train your female child. Give them attention. Monitor them closely. For a child to say he must drive GLK this week, you as the mother, what is your son doing for a living? Is he a graduate? Where is he working? What is monthly earning? Has he worked or earned to earn such money? Is he into business? Is he into craft? What is he into? Can he actually afford to buy GLK this week? These are the things to put into consideration. Monitor your children. Whenever you see them behaving or going out of the track. For our youth, please, get rid of this get uh, rich pick syndrome. While you're in the university, be focused. Make up your mind on the skill or business you will learn and practice after graduation. That way you make your money gradually and get to wherever God has destined you to be. Our dear government should please create an empowerment program for the youth, teaching them skills, building more industries, and employing our youth. They should also please retire our senior citizens. Some of them have taken their, their, the, the, the ministry, the House of Assembly, as their base. Since 2003, you will see one face representing a particular constituency or state. They do continuity every year, over 70 years, over 80 years. They are still in the National House of Assembly, no retirement, no space for the youth to come up. In the ministries, you see ghost workers. They plant people there. They, they gain the money. They earn the salary. Government should please retire the old or older citizens or senior citizens. Check for ghost workers. Fish them out and have space for the youth to be employed. I believe that this way we are going to have a better Nigeria. Thank you for watching Moonbeam TV. Keep watching as I bring you more interesting episodes next week. Share, subscribe, and like. Bye.